welcome to the podcast. I'm your host, Latisse Hudson, and in 2018, I quit my corporate job, launched my coaching business, and in less than one year, I hit the six-figure mark. And now I'm here to help you do it too. So each week on the podcast, I'm going to share all things money, mindset, and online marketing so you can reach more people, make more money, and do what you love from the comfort of anywhere in the world. Sit back, relax, grab your favorite drink, and enjoy the show. It's your time to elevate. Hey y'all, welcome back to the podcast. I am really excited for today's episode because I've been thinking about this for quite a bit. And for me, this is such a powerful episode because we're gonna talk all about why it's so important for you to have a life full of choices. So often in the online space, in real life, we hear that money is bad or money makes you greedy or money makes you... Feel, makes you feel like you're better than other people. And the unfortunate reality is that so many women, especially women and even more so women of color, buy into that reality that if you make more money, then you are acting like you're better than somebody else or you are putting yourself in a position where you're so far removed from reality that you're not relatable anymore. And I want to today on the podcast, I really want to talk about the concept of choice because when I recognized this a few years ago, the concept of choice, it completely changed my entire life. And really when I think about the concept of choice, it really boils down to a couple of key things. The concept of choice allows us to A, start with making more money, right? When we make more money, we have more choices. B, when we make more money, we can get our time back, right? And we all know time is not a renewable resource. So we only get so much time. And then C, right? We also get our energy back when we make more money. So I want y'all to recognize that it's important to make more money at the fundamentals of this concept that came up of choice. So where I heard this first was at a was at a conference a few years ago. Um, and I heard a famous like he's like a, I feel like he's like an influencer type coach, but he's really awesome. His name is Chris Harder. And he gave this example and I want to give it to y'all now. So basically when he talked about choices and he really called it more 10 out of 10 moments with your family and your life and the example that he gave was how would you feel if your kids were like hey I really want to go to Disney World but you weren't able to take them to Disney World because you didn't have the money and he was like your kids would not understand the concept of money right they would be so bummed they would be so frustrated and they would be unhappy because they just want to go to Disney World and we and I'm not a parent yet but when I heard that analogy I was like oh my gosh y'all like I don't ever want to be in position when I do have children that I can't take them to Disney World because my bank account says otherwise. And that's when it really sparked in me that I want to create a life full of choices. So that's really what we're going to talk about today on today's podcast episode. And we're going to really deep dive on why creating a life full of choices is a game changer. So just like in that example from Chris, right? He was like, you are going to want to create more 10 out of 10 moments. You're going to want to create moments so your children never have to look back at their childhood and be like, wow, I didn't get to experience that vacation or I didn't get to experience those memories because at the end of the day, as a child, they don't get those memories back. So if you have the ability as a human being, right, as a as a coach, as a CEO, as a leader to make more money so you have this life full of choices, why are you choosing otherwise? OK, so let's kind of pivot and dig in and talk about the three areas of what's important and what's going to allow you to create more of a life full of choices. So the first area, what really needs to be tackled with and what we're going to spend most of today's episode on is really talking about the concept of making more money. So often in the traditional space, right, when we think about budgeting, we think about Dave Ramsey, we think about all these people that are financial gurus, which I definitely appreciate. Um, I think it's important to recognize that when we put ourselves on 
quote unquote budget or put ourselves in a box, what happens is we start to actually eradicate all the money mindset work that we've done. Now, this isn't to say that budgets are bad, right? Budgets are absolutely necessary because I know for a long time, I, especially in college and even right after college, I really struggled with managing my money because I never learned how to manage it. So I definitely had to go to one extreme, right? To be able to fix my, fix my money issues. But as I started to grow, I recognized that putting myself in what felt like a box was really actually harming me from creating the choices that I wanted because I had something like I had some debt I had some bills that I had to pay and when I think about you know, finances and budgeting and all of that, it's important. But when we think about creating a life full of choices, for me specifically, and again, y'all, this is my own opinion, so take your take it with a grain of salt, but I don't ever want to be restricted or limited on the choices that I can create. And this is a question I want all of you to ask when you're listening to this episode, is if money was not an issue, would I buy the thing anyway? If money was not an issue, right? Would I go on the trip? If money was not an issue, would I pay in full for this service? Or would I pay in a payment plan? Or however would I, how would I pay for this? And when you ask yourself that question, you're going to actually get the real answer that you want. So a lot of you are in a spot right now where you're thinking about investing in a program or going on a trip or a vacation or hiring a new team member. And maybe finances aren't fully 100% there right now. But I know and you know that when we go back to this core root of a life full of choices, why would we allow ourselves to make a different choice if the choice that we really wanted was to do the thing anyway? So I want to post to you anytime you're in a situation where maybe money is not as abundant currently in the second, or maybe you're waiting on client invoices to be paid and it's a decision between you going on a trip or not, obviously take care of your home base and take care of your bills, be financially responsible, right? I 100% advocate for being financially responsible, but it's even more important to recognize that your own desires and the choices that you want to make also need to be present in that decision-making process. When I felt trapped in on this really ultra strict budget, it felt like I was like on a diet. We all know that when you're on a super strict diet, that's not like that you can't maintain for the rest of your lifestyle. What happens when you're on a super strict diet? You fail. It's the same thing when we trap ourselves right in these ultra restrictive budgets or these ultra restrictive ways of handling our finances or these ultra restrictive. Right. I can only make so much money because otherwise I'll look greedy. We have to change that mentality and we have to change that mindset because if you want a life full of choices, if you want more 10 out of 10 moments, as Chris Harder says, if you want to be able to take your kids to Disney World, if you want to be able to buy the new car, if you want to be able to hire the new team member or get your business to the next level and make the investment, it comes down to deciding that you're not going to let something like money that's completely abundant in this universe hold you back, period, right? It's a simple decision. So I really want you to think about this choice concept, right? If money was not an issue, what decision would I be making? And that's what you have to go back to every single time, right? Let's talk about life in the the holistic perspective. And then we're going to talk about the other two. We're going to talk about time and energy. I always have this saying, and you guys can see it all over my social media if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram. Our life is not a practice life. And I say that with so much conviction because I literally have seen so much death in my life at such a young age. And unfortunately, like as morbid as that sounds, it has propelled me to create a life full of choices. Okay. Because I recognize that my life is not a practice life. Your life If you're listening to this episode right now, it's not a practice life. Nobody's life is a practice life. And so often we wake up in a day-to-day mentality that, oh, I'll just start on Monday or, oh, I'll start in, I'm filming this in 2021. So, oh, I'll start in 2022. Come on, let's get really real with ourselves. Who promised you tomorrow? Who promised you Monday? And who promised you the next year? We act like we can go through life and that we have all this like infinitely abundant time. And when I think about your time on this earth compared to other people's time, we don't actually know how much time that we have. It's so funny because they talk about, you know, they talk about when they interview people that are like older or on their last like breath on their deathbeds. 
they always say like one of the most common themes is that if they could go back and do this or that or marry the person or ask that person on a date or start the business, they always say they would have done it. And they always say to young people, you need to do what you want to do and don't let anybody hold you back. So when I think about creating a life full of choices, which we're bringing it back to this, is that you only have so much time on this planet. You only have so much time with your partner. You only have so much time with your business. You only have so much time with your kids. You only have so much time. We act like we have all of this time. And while we do have time, we don't know how much time that we have. So I want you to go back to the choices that you want to make. Why are you acting like you have all this time? It's so funny because recently I've talked to tons of people. I'm ta- I talk to people all day long, right? And I talk to people about okay, you've been saying that you wanted to start the business. You've been saying that you wanted to get the clients. You've been saying you wanted to get the funnel up. You've been saying that you wanted to get into the relationship. You've been saying that you wanted to give this person feedback. You've been saying that you've wanted to hire the team member, but you keep saying these things and you act like you have this infinite abundant full of time. And I really want to challenge all of you and I have to challenge myself daily, y'all, right? Acting like I have all this time in the world to make these choices and these decisions. What's going to separate you from the entrepreneur that's the six or the seven or the eight figure entrepreneur is that they decided that time was not on their hands and that they were going to use their time wisely to do what they wanted to do, whether that's in business or in their life. They don't act like they have time that's just infinitely available. You have to act like every moment is your last moment. Okay, so when you're looking at yourself right now and looking at the results you have or that you don't have, I want you to ask yourself these questions. Where have you spent your last 24 hours? Where have you spent your last 72 hours? Where have you spent your last six weeks? What have you been doing? Right? Have you been making choices that propel your vision or retract your vision? So I really want you to be honest with yourself because if we want to create this life full of choices, we have to look at how we use our time every single day. Okay, now this isn't going to, this doesn't mean that you're going to get it perfect. This doesn't mean that you're going to spend every single time, every single minute spent on growing your vision, right? There's going to be times that you need to rest and rest is part of your vision. But if you're spending time scrolling on Instagram all day, if you're spending time talking to unqualified leads in the DM or getting on sales calls with people that aren't qualified to work with you or that are asking for discounts, right? Give yourself the permission to make the choice that I am unavailable for that type of energy. I'm unavailable for saying that I need to rest when you don't really need to rest. You are just exhausted because you're not actually living in your vision, right? Give your permission to rest, give yourself permission to rest, but also give yourself permission to go get every single thing that you want on this earth. Okay, so I need y'all to start acting like time is not infinitely available. So the, the choice that I want you to make is that I want you to live your life to the fullest. I want you to get your business to heights that you've never imagined, right? Because let's be honest, like some people are like, oh, I want to just charge $500 or $1,000, right? No, charge for the value that you're delivering and charge in a way that you don't have infinite available time. Okay, so you need to, this also really correlates to how I teach business and how I teach packaging your offers because I don't teach packaging your offers based off of an hourly rate. I'm not here for you to trade time for money. I'm here for you to trade value for money, okay? Again, we don't have infinitely available time. So the services that you do sell, the offers and the programs that you do sell need to give you more time, right? And give people more value, period. And those are not one and the same, okay? You don't have to trade time to charge $5,000 or $10,000 or $20,000 for your program. It's about the value that you're delivering, okay? And if you can do that in a way that gets you time back, which is why I love group coaching when you're past that 10K per month mark, then you do that, right? And then you get time back to make those choices where you're spending time with your kids, going to Disney World, spending time with yourself, actually resting, going on vacations, going out and enjoying this beautiful world that we have to enjoy, right? But you can't do that if you're in the thick of it every single day. But there's going to be times when you're at the beginning or if your sales are down that you have to step in and make the choice to serve yourself, serve your clients, serve your people and get to the next level, right? Because when you put that time in, you get more time later, hopefully, right? That's the goal. Okay, so we have to act like, you know, time is not infinitely available. 
right? That's the core of that message there. That's the second piece of creating the choice concept. Now, the third thing, which arguably goes into both of these money and time, the third piece of the choice concept is really looking at energy and looking at how much energy do you want to put into a program? How much energy do you want to put into a task? How much energy do you want to put into certain people? Okay, you have to really use discernment. That is like one of my keywords for 2021 is using discernment to decide what is your time worth also, right? These all build on each other. What is your time worth? What is that, you know, what's that financial ROI? And I'm talking specifically about business, right? So just to reiterate, the choice concept is money, time, and then the third piece, energy. And the energy that you put into the people, the programs, the ads that you may run or may not run, or the content that you may create or may not create or the people that you get on sales calls that aren't available to invest like you are choosing to put your energy in certain buckets so when you think about creating a life full of choices you have to decide with your energy where do you want to displace your energy so when i look at this at a high level and we'll break down a couple of pieces Making more money at the core of this, y'all, is going to buy you more time and buy you more energy. So that's why when I work with my clients, if they're on the brand new side of things, my biggest thing is I come in, get the cash injection, get the clients as quickly as possible with your amazing signature offer, right? Let's make money so now we can buy you time and energy. So that looks like getting clients right away. That looks like creating your offer. That looks like going to market as soon as possible, right? And then getting that cash injection. So now you can spend more time building out your offer, spend more time with your clients, okay? Doing what you love. Also, when we think about your energy, right? Energy is on a spectrum. You're going to want to spend way more time with your clients when you got money in the bank, period. Like it's just like at the core fundamentals, like at the core foundation of all this, you are going to want to spend way more time and way more money on your business, right? When you have the money in the bank. And your energy levels are going to look way different. Today's episode is sponsored by our signature program. Coaches tell me all the time, I'm ready for freedom in my coaching business. One-to-one coaching has been fun, but I'm ready for what's next. While there is a time and a place for courses in one-to-one coaching, when you're looking to scale past those coveted 10K months, an evergreen group coaching program is absolutely necessary. When I launched my Evergreen Group coaching program in 2019, it literally changed my entire life and business. Why? Because I was no longer capped on time. I took my expertise, packaged it up, and sold it one to many every single day of the week. I finally got the real freedom that I've been looking for and the big account too. This new way of coaching created massive leverage and massive impact. If you're anything like me, your freedom and impact is non-negotiable. This is exactly why I want to invite you to apply. Just for applying, I also want to send you over a free exclusive advanced training. This training is for coaches who are ready to attract clients on autopilot and create a business that you truly love. It's for you, even if you have a small audience. It takes just two minutes to apply. Head on over to www.latissehudson.com backslash apply to get all the details. The other thing is what I hear often from entrepreneurs that are in the spot where they've made some money and they're scaling, right? Usually around that 10K to 15K per month mark, it's time to hire a team member or it's time to start investing in Facebook ads. And the mindset reframe that I want you to have to to make today, if you're at that level, right? You know, I talk to people at all different spectrums because I'm just passionate about all the work that we do. But if you're at that spot where you are at that 10K per month mark or 15K per month mark, and maybe you're stuck doing one-on-one coaching, or maybe you don't have a system that brings in leads consistently, right? You have to look at where are you putting your energy? You can create a system in the back end, and I'm not going to go into too much strategy today, but you can create a system in the back end, right? We love our funnels. (laughs) We love our funnels that can do the heavy lifting for you. So therefore you get more time back and you get more energy back. And then therefore you can save your clients even better. So I want you to think about and stop thinking about if Facebook ads burned you or thinking about funnels don't work or funnels are only for seven figure entrepreneurs. That's not the truth. At every level, you should have some sort of funnel in place that's doing the heavy lifting for you. Now, if you're brand new, yeah, I mean, I don't know what better way to say this, but it's kind of a little bit of a grind to get to that first six figures, but it's not this crazy grind that's going to burn you out. 
if you decide to live your life in vision, in vision of your goals, period. But if you're trying to do things or do business or work with clients in a way that feels out completely out of alignment, right now there's two parts of this. There's a part where things are out of alignment and there's a little bit of resistance and there are times in business where it's completely out of alignment and it's a misalignment of values and morals and integrity, right? So if it's on that spectrum, obviously then you need to do business completely different. But if you're having a little bit of resistance, right, that means that you need to keep going because that's where your breakthrough is going to lie on the other side so as women we have to stop limiting the choices that we are allowing or disallowing ourselves you can buy the car and you could have tons of clients you could have the dream house and have spent a lot of time with your kids you can go on vacation and still run your business you can take two weeks off and still have your business run for you okay but you have to decide which choices do you want to make? Which choices do you want inside of your life? And one of the core concepts that I talk about to our Elevate to Success clients and even to our social selling society clients is that when we think about vision, every decision that we make has to go back to our vision. Every decision that we decide on has to go back to our vision. Every choice that we make has to be in alignment with our vision. So if you're not outliving your life, if you're not traveling the way you want, if you don't have the freedom that you have, I want you to look at how is your business set up? Are you making the money that you truly need? Maybe 5K a month is not enough. Maybe you need 10K. Maybe you need 50K. That's okay. I don't want you to let society pull you down or let society tell you that you're greedy because you want to make more money. Because what happens when we make more money, we create a life full of choices. And if anything you've gotten from today's episode is that creating a life full of choices allows you the true freedom that you want. It allows you to have the lifestyle that you want. Back to that concept of time, we don't have all the time in the world. So why would we live below the desires and the freedom that we want. It makes literally no sense, y'all. It makes absolutely no sense. So the decision that I want you to make, and if you're you know, listening, you're still here, I want you to grab a piece of paper right now. And this is an exercise that I find myself doing on a consistent basis. The exercise is this, right? I have my remarkable, but sometimes I'll use a notebook. If I really just wanna be outside in nature, I love being out in nature. What I'll do is I'll write out, what do I want for in the next 30 or the next 60 days because sometimes maybe we'll get in like a consistent revenue pattern and we feel like our revenue is not growing or we're not as profitable as we want and sometimes it's because we have to work towards something so I want to give you complete permission today to work towards a goal whether it's materialistic or not materialistic for me like I usually have a goal of both I usually am like I want x amount of more money and savings plus I want this new tablet or I want this new car or want to be able to give back you decide what that is so for me right now i'll just be very transparent um for me right now i personally outside of my business for a personal reason i'm working towards buying a new car and it'll be my first luxury car and i'm really excited and my goal is to put down a good i'm not going to buy it completely in cash because i don't believe in buying a depreciating for me a depreciating asset in cash I don't, I don't think that's necessary. So I'm working on creating a very sizable down payment because this car is a six figure purchase. So I want to have about 25%, just like extra, like to go towards the car. So for me, I start to come up, right? I'll write that down. I'll journal on it. I'll talk about how I feel, where I'm going to be, what environment am I going to be in? What am I going to wear? I start to envision that entire choice and that entire entire decision. But before you can actually envision that situation, you have to decide and make the choice that you are available for that choice. So I've already decided that I'm available to buy this luxury car, period. I've gotten my energy behind it, my team knows, I know, and we are all in a collective, like, well, we, when I say we, my team knows, because we talk about what we want. We talk about gratitude a lot, and we talk about the things that we want, because I think it's a healthy conversation to have, besides just talking about business all the time. So I'm at this point where I'm like, okay, I'm envisioning what I want, how I want it, where I'm going to be, what I'm going to wear, who's going to be with me when I purchase this vehicle. So from there, I'll write it all out, and I'll envision it, and then I will look at it 
consistently. I won't look at it necessarily every day, but a few times a week I go back to that page in my journal. Um, and I also love to put a picture of the item or the situation or the thing that I want on my desktop on my computer. And I can't tell y'all how many times I've gotten the decision, the choice that I've made because of doing this simple exercise, right? When we envision what we want, when we make the choice that we're available for it, what happens? There's no other option but for it to come true. There's no other option but for it to happen. So it sounds really simple, but it's so magnificent in the grand scheme of things. So if you are in a slump, a revenue slump, or you're not where you want to be, or you're not as profitable as you want, I want you to decide and work towards something, right? It could be a materialistic thing. It could be a goal in savings. It could be to uh, pay somebody's rent for them, whatever it may be if you're wanting to support somebody. And then I want you to go through that exercise and talk about the who, what, when, how, where, all of that. And I want you to put a picture of it on your computer desktop. And I want you to revisit it a few times a week. And then on the flip side of that, from a strategic standpoint, I want you to get really real with how can you make this revenue? How can you make this income to get the thing that you want? And I want you to feel the energy behind it. And I want you to tell yourself how worthy and available you are to get that thing. Okay, because you deserve it. And this is always my thing on the flip side, like, the world wouldn't have the thing on this planet if it wasn't worthy of you getting it, right? The luxury car wouldn't be created if I wasn't able to get it, okay? So the <laughs> the luxury vacation or the car or the home wouldn't be available on this earth if it wasn't for you to get. And that's a, that's the mindset shift that I've had to make over the last few years is that I'm more than able to get that luxury car. I'm more than able to get that dream home. I'm more than able to give back to the charities that I wanna give to you or help my, my family out and they, they need something, right? Without questions asked. So I want you to decide today that you get to create a life full of choices. And it all starts with you get to make more money. And here's the thing. You don't even need a reason to make more money. A lot of people will be like, well, why do you want to make, I had somebody ask me this a couple of years. Well, why do you like, why do you want to make, you know, seven figures or multiple millions? Why isn't six figures good enough? You know what I told them? I was like, it's because it's not. And that's where I left it at. I didn't have to give them an explanation or a decision or a reasoning. I just told them it's because that's what I want. Right. And in the back of my mind, I know why I want to make multiple seven figures, because that creates a life full of choices. I don't wanna have to wake up and look at my bank account. I don't wanna have to only order water at the restaurant. I don't wanna have to be like, oh, I gotta cut here and cut there, right? My philosophy is like, obviously have a healthy revenue in your business and cash flow and savings and all of that. But if I wanna hire a new team member, I'm just gonna go make their salary. I'm just gonna go make more of it right? If I want to go buy the thing, I'm just going to make the money today or tomorrow. I'm not going to sit here and pester over a few dollars. I'm not going to sit here and think about it that way. So for me, creating a life full of choices boils down to allowing yourself and being available to make more money. So often I hear women be like, oh, I really wish, or I wish I could do that. My question back is, why can't you? Why not you? right? If Jeff Bezos can walk on this freaking planet making billions, you can too, okay? And billions may not be your desire, but six figures might be or seven figures might be. So I want you to go lead with that desire today, right? And recognize the choice concept comes down to focus, focus first, right? And not over explaining yourself to people that aren't ever going to get it anyway, And it boils down to these three buckets. The more money that you make allows you more time. The more time that you have gives you more energy. And therefore, it's a cycle, right? And it's this never-ending amazing cycle of choice. Okay, so let me know how you love this episode. Creating a life full of choices is what's going to change the game for you. And don't stop until you get the choices that you want. Don't stop until you make the money that you want. And even when you make the money that you want, go make more money, right? And even if you don't have a reason for it, go give it away. Go support people. Go save it. Do whatever you want with your money. But don't let lack of money ever hold you back from the choices that you want to make period. Okay. So go make the choices, go make those decisions and go live your most abundant, fullest life. So I hope you got a lot of value out of today's episode. Creating a life of choices has completely changed how I show up for my, myself, my friends and my family, my clients. And I just want all of y'all to have that too. 
All right. So go enjoy your day. Go journal, go exercise, go get what you need to get to the next level and go create the choices that you want, period, because nobody's stopping you but you. And that gets to change starting today. I love y'all and I'll talk to y'all in the next episode. Hey, if you loved today's episode, I would love if you took a quick second to leave a rating and a review. It truly means the world to me and helps spread the message to coaches just like you who are ready to go to the next level in their business. And if you're ready to start scaling your online coaching business, I want to take the time to invite you to apply. This is our exclusive high level program for coaches ready to finally scale past those coveted 10K months and create a scalable business model for years to come. Head on over to www.latissehudson.com backslash apply to submit your application and get all the details. You don't want to miss it.